Hey guys, it's Sandro here, and today's video is a look at my favorite wash and decontamination detailing products. When I first started this channel about seven years ago, a lot of my earlier videos were these huge product reviews containing dozens of my favorite products at the time and just quickly sharing my experiences and thoughts on them. And based on quite a lot of requests from you guys to update those older videos, I decided to revisit them to what I'm currently using now, seven years on. This video isn't about what's necessarily the best products, whatever that means. I think there's so many reviews out there raving about the newest and greatest product every other day, but you never really see them using it again. It's always on to the next one. So I wanted to approach this differently in that I actually use these products daily, weekly or monthly and for the most part have done so for many years. So for you guys that watch this channel regularly, there may not be any surprises here as you've seen the majority of these products used frequently. I also know that not everyone has access to every product in every part of the world. So I've tried to add a few different products and brands in most categories as alternative options I also use and like. There's a lot to get through here, so let's get to it. The first area is wheel cleaning. About five to six years ago, I tried NV Purge for the first time and ever since then, it has been my favorite and most used wheel cleaner by a long shot. Its cleaning ability is fantastic. Being able to cut through road grime and break dust efficiently with a great foaming ability and lubrication, as well as a long dwelling time. It's also quite safe on any wheel surface from clear coated, single stage paint and even bare metal rims. Overall for me, it has been the perfect balance of being safe, effective and efficient to use. And the bonus is it's one of the few pleasant smelling wheel cleaners and at least here locally, the cheapest one on this list. If I had to pick a wheel cleaner that's the closest I've found to NV Purge, it would be Shine Supply Cool Guy. Just about everything I said about Purge from its cleaning ability to safety can also be said about Cool Guy. Some differences between them is that Cool Guy does have an even better foaming ability if you really like a lot of suds. Though it can dry a little quicker than Purge that will reduce your dwell time. I'd also say Purge has just a fraction more cleaning power, extended work time and flexibility, especially in hotter climates. But all in all, it's another really fantastic wheel cleaner, a little more expensive than Purge, but still comes in at a mid price point here locally. Third on this list is Shell Concepts Rim 7. I think Rim 7 is one of those cleaners that should be far more popular than it is. I would say it cleans just as well as the previous two at cutting back strong wheel grime. So in this area, it's really fantastic. It also foams up really well as you begin brushing and I'd say it has an even better clinging ability with good lubrication. One thing however is because of its thicker gel like consistency that doesn't run as much, I find you do need to use a little more to get a nice even application and effective result. And being that it's already a more expensive wheel cleaner, the cost can add up over time. I do really love Rim 7 and if you've never tried it, I absolutely recommend giving it a go as it's extremely effective yet still very safe. Last on this list is CarPro Trix. Ever since I first tried Trix many years ago, I've always had a bottle around as it's one of those products that just is so capable and effective. Out of all the wheel cleaners here, Trix is by far the strongest and most powerful at cleaning severely bad and neglected car wheels. But unlike the other three cleaners, this is one that shouldn't be used frequently, but more so only periodically when needed. In other words, it's a little aggressive to be used weekly or even monthly, but as a yearly deep wheel cleaner, it can be fantastic at removing built up grime that other wheel cleaners may struggle with. 
I also wouldn't recommend it on matte or single stage paint as it can sometimes etch their finish. But on most clear coated car wheels used occasionally, it's quite safe and extremely effective especially when you're struggling to remove more stubborn contamination. Next up is all purpose cleaners or degreasers that can be used for many applications from tire to engine bay cleaning, traffic film removal, stripping off car waxes or sealants and even interior cleaning. Starting with Shine Supply Wise Guy, I would say that this is the product that got me into the Shine Supply brand as it was just the most amazing and capable tire cleaner I've ever used. It just impressed the heck out of me. And about four years on now, I still think it's perhaps the best tire cleaner on the market. It just cuts through tire grime like butter, making what's usually a hard taxing job far quicker and easier. There's no doubt that it's a very strong degreaser, but I've yet to see it do any damage on wheels after years of use, so at least for me, it's also been quite safe. But perhaps the most impressive thing about it is that it's dirt cheap and when bought in bulk, which is honestly how you should be buying all the products here, it's extremely affordable. It's also a highly dilutable concentration that can be used one to one to one to four for tires and wheel areas. And I use it frequently for engine bays and even cleaning around dirty car badges and trims at about one to five to one to 10. It's not an all purpose cleaner I'd use for interiors or closed spaces as it is a little volatile, but as a strong exterior cleaner, it's just fantastic. Next up is CarPro Retire. If I had to guess, I would say that Retire is CarPro's answer to Shine Supply Wise Guy. And overall, everything I just said about Wise Guy can also be said about Retire. So I think CarPro did a fantastic job here, making it more or less just as good. I guess some differences between them is that Wise Guy has a natural foaming ability or consistency that applies extremely evenly and easily. Whereas Retire uses a foaming nozzle to create its foam and it is a little harder to get that nice even application. But as far as cleaning action goes, I honestly found it hard to separate the two. The biggest difference, however, is price. Retire comes in at about twice the price of Wise Guy and is also used neat or undiluted on grimy wheels, so in the end, it can end up costing quite a bit more. But in its own right, Retire is just a fantastic tire and general heavy contamination cleaner that's well worth having. Now, before I tried Wise Guy or Retire, my favorite tire and wheel well cleaner and overall general heavy exterior degreaser was Poor Boy's World APC. As a whole, it's not like it's all that far off in terms of cleaning action compared to the previous two, as Poor Boy's APC is without a doubt one of the best, most capable and relatively safe all-purpose cleaners for car detailing on the market. It's also perhaps just a touch less volatile than Wise Guy or Retire, though it's still not an APC I would recommend for interiors or closed spaces. One thing that did annoy me a little about Poor Boy's APC is that it does have a tendency to start crystallizing after a certain period. But that's really the only negative thing I can say about it, as it's just a great all-purpose cleanup that's also quite cheap in price. Last on this list is CarPro Multi-X. If I could only have one all-purpose cleaner to do everything, it would have to be Multi-X. Now compared to the previous three, Multi-X certainly isn't as aggressive or outright powerful, but that doesn't mean it's not a truly fantastic all-purpose cleaner, as for me, it's probably the best general APC on the market today. It can work extremely well on tires, wheels, engine bays, as a traffic film remover, and even to strip off older waxes and sealants, but can also be more heavily diluted to work as a truly fantastic interior cleaner. 
there's just more flexibility and far less risk in terms of chemical etchings or damage with multi-x compared to the other three degreasers that you really need to use with a little more caution. In other words, Multi-X is true to its name, being perhaps the most generally versatile, safe and effective all-round all-purpose cleaner on the market, not to mention it's also one of the cheapest here locally. So let's move on to car wash detergents and foams, starting with my favourite pH neutral maintenance soaps. First on this list is Envy Snow. What I look for in a good maintenance car soap and snow foam is a great cleaning ability, good gliding lubrication, nice bucket suds and foaming action in a snow cannon and an easy to quick rinse off that doesn't leave streaks or residue behind that's going to strip or mask whatever wax sealant or coating I have on the paint. Envy Snow has just been my all time favourite maintenance car wash soap since I gave it a go as it ticks all those boxes as well, if not better, than any car soap I've personally tried. And that's certainly not something I can say for about 90% of car soaps that I've tested, which can often mask car waxes and sealants, or have poor lubrication and even substandard cleaning abilities. I think it's just a lovely purist and simple car wash soap that does everything it's meant to and comes in at quite a cheap price point. Next up is CarPro Reset. Reset has been around for a long time and I think it's only fair to give it a little extra praise for being one of the first truly great purest car wash soaps to hit the market. Now once again, I can say for the most part just everything I said about MV Snow can also be said about CarPro Reset. To me, the two are extremely safe, effective and all round fantastic maintenance car wash soaps. Where I would say they differ a little is that Reset is a touch stronger, being a little more capable with tougher grime, but also perhaps a little more aggressive on something like a natural car wax. But with most synthetic car sealants or coatings, Reset certainly won't compromise them. Reset is also a little more pricey here locally, but all in all, just an outstanding car wash soap, certainly worth trying. Last on this list is Shine Supply Shift. I'll be honest that I haven't used it near as much as Snow or Reset, but I think that's just because I already have those two other great car wash soaps rather than finding any issue with it. From what I've personally experienced with Shift, it has great suds, lubrication, no signs of interfering residue, and seems to clean extremely well, so I just can't fault it. So onto decontamination snow foam and car wash detergents generally used to strip and deep clean vehicles more thoroughly. First on this list is Envy Snow Plus. This is a higher alkaline leaning detergent strip car wash and pre soaked treatment foam that has a greater ability to remove things like greasy traffic films, stubborn dirt and even being able to strip older waxes and sealants. Though when used over a more durable ceramic coating, it'll simply deep clean the coating, helping to restore its performance. And it's also great for use in something like your wheels bucket. Now, unlike some other more aggressive strip car wash detergents I've used that have etched and stained certain car trims, I've always found Snow Plus to be extremely safe yet really effective. And that's really the key point here not only with these car wash soaps, but with every product in this review. Yes, I need them to work well, but if they start damaging paint or trims, or are just a pain to use, that's instantly a fail for me. Apart from its cleaning and stripping ability, Snow Plus also has great lubrication for hand washing, a long dwell time for snow foam application, and its residue is also quite quickly rinsed off. Snow Plus is also one of the more affordable performing decontamination car wash soaps here locally, making it great value. Next on this list is CarPro Lift. 
Lyft filled the void in CarPro's lineup a few years ago for a more intensive pre-washed snow foam that could help lift and dissolve a greater amount of road films and stubborn grime prior to the hand washing stage. From all the testing and use I've had with Lyft that has been rather comprehensive, it really does a fantastic job as a decontamination pre-washed foam but is once again really safe. I guess the real difference with Lyft and Snow Plus is that Lyft has really been formulated to be used as a touchless pre-wash foam. Whereas Snow Plus is also able to be used as a bucket wash detergent, having more lubrication for physical hand wash applications. But apart from that, they are both equally effective, capable, safe, and even come in at similar price points. Last on this list is CarPro Descale. Now, unlike the previous two detergents that are alkaline leaning, Descale is an acid based wash detergent that has a superior ability at tackling water spots or minerals, though it can also remove road films, heavy dirt, and can strip older car waxes and sealants as well. Since first trying Descale over a year ago, I don't mind saying that it has become my favorite decontamination hand wash soap. What I've personally found is that if I use either CarPro Lift or Snow Plus as my pre-alkaline snow foam and then follow up with Descale as my acid leaning hand wash detergent, the two complementary benefits of alkaline followed by acid cleaners just work so well in harmony to produce the best possible cleaning result. Descale also foams extremely well, has great lubrication for hand wash and rinses off without too much effort. Now it is a little pricier and less concentrated than Lyft or Snow Plus, but I absolutely love this product and just can't recommend it enough. The next category is chemical decontamination products used to remove embedded contamination such as tar, iron, mineral deposits and heavy road films. Starting with iron or fallout removers, I think INX was the first ever CarPro product I tried and to this day I still think it's my favourite dedicated iron remover as it's just so hard to fault. Now like almost all iron removers, it does stink and the new lemon scented version has done little to address that. But based on performance, it just so effectively and quickly starts to dissolve metal particles and once again, I found it to be completely safe. It can be used as a pre-chemical treatment prior to hand washing or even after washing and you'll find that it works way better if you work it in with a cloth before rinsing it down to achieve its maximum performance. Cost-wise, I think it's middle of the road as far as iron removers go but I personally think it's still one of the safest and best performing iron removers on the market. Next up is NV Purify. Now unlike INX, Purify isn't just an iron remover, but also a general contamination cleaner and thirdly, a clay lubricant. So typically and most impressively, it can be used to perform both your chemical and mechanical or claying processes at once with its great lubrication, saving time and cost. Another difference is that Purify is slower but longer acting, so although it takes a little longer to get going, it does continue to work a little longer than most other chemicals in this category. As a pure iron remover, I think INX is more capable in this area. But as a general iron and traffic film remover, as well as a clean lubricant, Purify is just an amazing and unique chemical, especially in the professional environment. The added bonus is that here locally, it's also one of the most affordable decontamination chemicals. As far as a dedicated rotar deposit remover, I've only got one in this category, which is CarPro Tarex. I haven't tried every tar remover out there, but I'd say I've tried about a dozen or so, some of which didn't perform or remove tar deposits as well, and also quite a few that removed them even better or quicker, 
but additionally cause staining, etching, hazing, and even stripping paint. So at the risk of repeating myself once again, it's the balance of being effective yet still reasonably safe that keeps Tarex at the top of my list. Now just like all tar removers, Tarex is a product you need to use with caution because tar removers are the most aggressive chemicals in this review. They can sometimes cause clear plastics like lights and reflectors to haze over and when dealing with single stage paint, rubbers and other sensitive trims, they can, if used aggressively, damage those surfaces. But when used with this knowledge and care, Tarex is just an amazing tar remover that can also tackle heavy road films, remove paint stains, bugs, bird poo, tree sap, and the list goes on. Next up is Carpro Bug Out. This is a chemical that can be placed perhaps halfway between a tar remover and a general traffic film remover. What this means is that just like a tar remover, it will work extremely well at its intended purpose of softening and lifting bug splatters, but will also be far safer to use as to not haze clear plastics like headlights or compromise rubbers or other sensitive trims. All in all, I've also found it to be great on bird poo, minor tree sap, and as a general road film cleaner. Though on something like tar deposits, it's not going to perform as well as Tarex. Now bug out still is a strong chemical, so it should be used only as needed and appropriately, but if you don't need the added strength and aggression of a dedicated tar remover, it's going to be safer yet extremely capable to tackle quite a variety of embedded road and environmental contamination. Last on this list is Poor Boy's World Strip Down. This is a really nice general deep cleaning and surface stripping chemical that I first tried a good three to four years ago. The main issue I've had with it is that it's been hard to get a hold of here locally, being sold out most of the time. But almost everything I said about bug out can be said about strip down. I've also found it works amazingly well on general stubborn grime like bugs, bird poo, road films, and even tree sap, but does perhaps shine best in the area of removing older waxes and sealants, potentially even the last remains of an old ceramic coating to really strip the car paint and trims back to a clean bare state. It also has the ability to be used like a car wash soap in that you can spray it on and use it with a cloth or mint to physically clean before rinsing to obtain its peak performance. All in all, it's quite affordable, quite effective, quite safe, and I think one of those products that is really deserving of a place here. In the area of water spot or mineral deposit removal, there's two products that I typically like and use being NV Shift and CarPro Spotless 2.0. There's some really strong water spot removers out there that can dissolve minerals faster than these two, but they can sometimes destroy trims like mirror glass, window seals, and other sensitive areas if they come in contact, and even degrade ceramic coatings. I'm not saying they all do that, but you need to be a little careful with some of these stronger acid cleaners. Shift and Spotless have always been safe for me while still being effective, and that's the main reason I continue to use them and honestly, I find them equally capable in this area. Next up is automotive clay used to mechanically remove bonded particles that chemical treatment alone struggles to achieve. Starting with traditional automotive clay bars, there's two here that I personally like above all others, which are Shoal Concepts Eraser and Meguiar's Mold Clay. Now I apologize as I didn't have any of the Meguiar's on hand for this video, but generally speaking, I like both of them equally. I guess the main reason I have been using Shoal a little more is that here locally, it is about half the price. But with all that said, I find both these clay bars to work extremely well at lifting bonded fallout particles. But more importantly, they're both two of the least aggressive in terms of causing clay marring and scuffs. Additionally, unlike some other clay bars, they're also relatively easy to mold with a nice user experience. For me, traditional automotive clay is one of those things that you get what you pay for. 
The cheaper clay bars on the market can still work well to remove contamination, but they also tend to heavily scuff the paint and just be awful to mold, separate and work with. These two, however, are great and two of my personal favorites. Next up is synthetic clay that can come in the form of towels, mitts, blocks and even machine driven pads. Now there's one synthetic clay that comes in the form of a clay towel that I personally like above all others and that's the Aero Clay Cloth. In general terms, synthetic clay does tend to last worlds longer than traditional clay, making it a far more economical option. And it also tends to work way faster than traditional clay, making it more efficient. But the main issue with synthetic clay is that it tends to be more aggressive on paint, leading to increased marring, swirls and scuffs, and sometimes not quite as thorough in removing all the particles. The Aero Cloth was the first synthetic clay I ever tried that was give or take as gentle on the paint as traditional clay, but also much faster and efficient while still being as effective. I think a big part of it is its perforated design that a few years on now has become more popular and perhaps the new standard of synthetic clay. The other great benefit of this towel and all synthetic clay is that it can be used with decontamination clay and chemicals like NV Purify, whereas traditional clay isn't as chemical resistant and tends to break down. All in all, this is just a truly amazing clay towel and one that I highly recommend. As an alternative, I found the newer CarPro Polyshave Cloth that's also adopted a perforated pattern to be far better than CarPro's older clay towel, so it's definitely a big improvement and overall just a nice synthetic clay towel. I think it removes particles even better than their previous design, but more importantly is far less aggressive on the paint. Now honestly, I still like the Aero Cloth much better. I find it a touch faster and even a little more gentle. But as a fairly solid alternative, this is still a great synthetic towel. Last here is clay lubricants. Now, if you want a quick, safe, effective and cheap clay lubricant, you can just use your car wash soap right out of the bucket. It works absolutely fine. But if you do want something that's going to both chemically dissolve and lubricate while you're claying, making the process faster with just one step, then I'll just mention MB Purify here again. It's probably my most used clay lubricant for those very reasons. Another great option for a pure clay lubricant is CarPro Ima Lube at a 1 to 15 dilution. Most clay lubricants are basically quick detailers that contain certain wax or sealant like polymers that bond to the paint to leave a beautiful slick finish. Now, although the paint feels nice and slick after using them, that's not what clean bare paint should feel like. It should feel smooth, but tacky. Imalube uses solvents and surfactants to clean and lubricate that don't bond to the paint and are easily rinsed off, making it a far better choice. It's also highly dilutable with even just a small bottle lasting forever. The last range of products in this review are isopropyl alcohol or IPA panel wipes. These should always be used as a last step of a decontamination wash process as they're pretty much the only cleaners that remove things like detergent or chemical residue without leaving their own residue behind. First on this list is CarPro Eraser. There's lots of great smelling detailing products out there, but Eraser is still my all time favorite, which is largely the reason I like it so much. Now, with that said, I think Eraser is as good as any IPA cleaner I've used. It cuts through chemical residue, polishing oils, light dust, fingerprints, and similar contamination super well. It also has good lubrication and gives you enough work time before drying out to adequately clean the surface. So everything about it is on point and the bonus is that it's just super pleasurable to use. Cost wise, it's pretty affordable even compared to buying raw isopropyl alcohol and making your own dilution, which has become insanely expensive over the last couple of years. Another great option is MV Clarity. Honestly, there's not a great deal of difference here between Eraser and Clarity in terms of application, behavior, performance, and even cost. And I could probably add a few other IPA brands here to the list. 
The biggest difference is really a subjective one that I just like the smell of a razor a little better and enjoy using it a little more. It's just as simple as that. Last on this list is Shine Supply Throwback. Throwback is a little different to Eraser and Clarity in that it adds some APC or degreaser to its formula to give you some increased cleaning and stripping ability, being able to clean the surface a little better if that's something you feel may be required. So perhaps you've left a lot of chemical residue staining after a decontamination process or you're using a machine compound with hard to remove oils or maybe you're getting an engine bay or wheels ready for coating and you need a little extra kick to get those surfaces clean. This is where it can be a great option to have. It's only a touch more expensive than the previous two IPA cleaners. It's another really nice smelling chemical and it can certainly be used in place of more typical IPAs as it works just as well and potentially better in certain cases. Well, that's almost it for the main part of this review. I'm just going to quickly add a few more wash products and tools to the end of this video that I once again really like and use frequently as a few bonuses. But I'm going to move a little quicker here as I wrap things up. P21S Polishing Soap. If you haven't tried it, you don't know what you're missing. It's a metal polishing soap that I mostly use now for cleaning exhaust tips. It works amazingly well to remove rust, carbon deposits, and there's just nothing else like it on the market. Drying towels. My favorite would be Carpro's Dehydrate in the larger size, as it soaks up water really well, has very little friction to avoid drying swells, and seems to hold up quite well use after use. Foam lances or cannons. Earlier this year, I finally got to try the MTM foam cannon, and I must say, I think it deserves the popularity it's achieved. The foam it creates seems to hold and cling better to the paint, producing some of the best and most uniform dwelling I've seen with any foam lance. It's definitely my new favorite. Waterless and rinseless washing. I've done a few reviews on many of these in the past, and honestly, nothing's changed. CarPro Echo 2 is still my favorite as it cleans well, has fantastic lubrication, wipes down streak free and just leaves a beautiful glossy slick finish behind. Nitrile Detailing Gloves I did a review on these Gripaz gloves a while back. They're the most durable, chemical resistant, comfortable and importantly provide amazing grip even when wet. Without a doubt the best ones I've ever used. Wash mitts. I absolutely love the new CarPro Dab Dab wash mitt. It's got this unique memory-like foam, but not exactly. But it just conforms to the panel curves and crevices so well. It's very safe and gentle, yet extremely effective and seems to hold up well. There's just nothing I can really fault about it. Pressure washer gun and extension lance. I got a sample of the MTM SG S35 swivel shotgun late last year and loved it so much I just got one for home now. Some pressure washer guns just jerk violently when you press them and are either too firm or too loose with no feedback and some of the swivels can again be too loose or firm even causing the hose to twist. This MTM is just on point with everything it's just like they fine tune the feel and response to an art. I just love it and think it looks fantastic in blue. Detailing brushes. I've also reviewed these newer CarPro brushes, so I'll just keep it short. They are rock solid, even use after use. The Boarhead brush is still my favorite, but all three available in the lineup are just simply a fantastic bit of kit. Last but not least is a nice set of wash buckets. I've had the same set of these Economax wash buckets at the shop for about a year now, so I just got a new set to use at home. For about a hundred Aussie dollars, including grip guards, it's just really nice to have a clean set of good looking functional buckets that don't cost the earth. Well, that is finally it guys, and thanks to all of you that stuck through to the end of this video, as it was a decent amount of work to put together. 
As I mentioned at the start, this review isn't about what's necessarily best for everyone to use. It's about what I personally like and use, and that can come down to many things like cost, local availability, user experience, performance, and safety. I'll end by saying that a great detailer can do more with average products than an average detailer can do with great products. So don't think for a moment that you need the best of everything to be the best of what you do. Just get whatever fits your budget and appeals to you and let your motivation, skill and dedication to detailing do the talking. If you enjoyed this video and would like to say thanks and help support future content, you can do so by buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash ccid in which I'll have a link to in the description box or you can now hit the thanks button below the video and thank you everyone for the support so far. As always, I really hope you guys enjoyed and found this video helpful. Please share it with others, give it a like and comment below to show your support for this content and I'll see you guys soon.